All right, Uncle Sam FM here, and we are on episode 10 of the American Football Series. And we're going to look at, as you can tell by the headline there, competitions galore. Um, one thing that we'll be able to see in this episode is some of the uh, custom files, database files that I've added to this safe that just make playing in MLS a little more interesting, a little more fun. And so the first one we'll look at is the International Champions Cup. So let's 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 turn all competitions off, and we will highlight only the ones that we're referring to here. Yeah. So the International Champions Cup. Obviously, that did not go super well. Um, lost every game except for two. But um, the the results that I got were good. The first match, kicking it off against Chelsea, got a nil nil draw, and then won the penalty shootout. So. So that was a good way to start the competition. Kind of made me think, hey, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can do all right at this. Well, the next five matches in the ICC did not go so well. <laughs> Lost every single one. But the good news is, nobody just absolutely ran me off the field. As you can see, the results were respectable, right? Two, two nothing to Real Madrid, um, and this was my second team. One thing you'll notice this competition, you got a lot of matches smashed into a short period of time. You're talking, what, 15 days-ish? Um, you say you got about two weeks, and you're playing seven games. So the games were coming fast and heavy. Um, so I rotated. Hell, every guy that I have on my 30-man squad played at least one match in this. Probably played multiple matches. So... Um, that is one good thing about this competition is that you know what we're not going to win it anyway so let's let's get a lot of guys on the field they get a lot of apps appearances uh, a lot of opportunity to develop so that was good um but yeah lost to real madrid gave juventus a match but lost there um gotten beat by barcelona 2-0 they <clears throat> actually scored against psg in fact we made them sweat a little bit um, going to the locker room, we were even at one, um, but you know they scored the. We gave up a penalty in the 65th, and so PSG won that. <clears throat> then one nothing to Man U, but we finished off. We bookended the competition with another good result, and that was a big win over Palmeiras, who is obviously a Brazilian club, um, and that's one that we had to come from behind to win. Um, we started off good, scored the first goal, and gave up a couple. <clears throat> but then at the end of the game, and I didn't sub anybody. I think, well, I subbed Wallace because we had an injury. But um, you had boom, 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 three goals, and we, you know, we end the competition with a win. We still finished last. So we'll look at the table here. Um, finished last, dead last. <laughs> As even Palmeiras got a couple wins. Um, you know, obviously not really shocked about finishing last. Uh, the, of course, PSG would eventually win. They, the top two teams play in a final, and PSG ran Man U off the field in L.A. Um, but, you know, so that's, you know, the ICC didn't go great, but it was a good good experience. And, and to be honest, after seeing these results, I feel like in the future, when I kind of get this young squad built up a little bit, we might be able to, you know, win a couple games in that thing. We'll never probably be good enough to win it. That's just too many great teams. <laughs> But um, we'll be able to hold our own, hopefully. <clears throat> so, yeah, the ICC went well. Another competition that I have added is the um, the Superliga. Now, this is a, um, a revival. This competition, it's in the database already. Um, but it, it's no longer played in real life. But it used to be the championship for the North American Football Union, which is... Canada, Mexico, and the United States. And Mexico would send four teams. MLS would send four teams. And that's how it's set up here. <clears throat> um, now originally, it was the best four from MLS and the best four from, from La Liga in Mexico. Um, actually, it's Liga MX. Sorry. But when the Champions League went to a group stage knockout phase format, um, the, it became the teams that didn't make the Champions League from MLS and from Liga MX. But um, now, since Champions League is now simply a knockout phase in the spring, I went ahead and reset this up. I rebuilt this um, competition, and so it's another fun little um, 
Well, it's a fun tournament to play in. And looking at my results so far, Kuotaro had a 6-2 win. That was a that was a, a fun match. <laughs> um, going in, I wasn't really sure how to play it. I'm not used to playing in this competition. Wasn't sure how the Mexican clubs were going to approach it. Um, so you, I didn't get off to a great start. Trejo for Kuotaro scored first. Um, I did make some adjustments, though. And Mendotas tied it up going into the half. And in the second half was a goal festival. We just we ran away with it. Uh, I scored a 5-1 to one in the second half to win 6-2 and take all three points. Then we played Monterey, who is the M Liga MX champion, the Campeones de Campeon champions. And um, now that I had a better idea of how to play uh, again, away to a Mexican club, uh, obviously we didn't create as much, but the, the match itself was a lot more stable. And so we won, a, we won two to zero and took all maximum points from the first two matches which means that we're now pretty much through to the second round to take the top two from each group uh, to a semifinal so we've got Toronto FC in the last match <clears throat> um, Toronto looks like they're going to go through we're definitely through so probably what I'm going to do is play a lot of my younger guys right even if we lose that to Toronto um, we're still through so you know, the mission's accomplished for this first round. And, you know, hey, we'd actually be helping out Toronto, too, if we lost, because that means they would go through. Um, so, that's the Superliga. We do have, as I mentioned, coming up. Now, this is a real-life competition. It's called the Campeones Cup. And it's a match between the um, MLS champion, the MLS Cup champion, and the winner of the Campeones de Campeon Cup in Mexico. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so those are some of the continental competitions. Looking at um, the Open Cup, we left off. I had beaten Atlanta United after a video glitch. Um, from there, went on to beat Cincinnati pretty easily. Then played New Orleans, the Jesters. And we were in control of that match. We were up 3 nothing, And coming well and then right before the half they stole a goal and then scored again to make it 3-2 so things were a little nervous there for most of the second half until um, we got a penalty that Minotas put away and so we advanced <clears throat> went to uh, Red Bull Arena and beat the Red Bulls 2-0 to take us to the final which will be played in September right now I'm in August um, at Colorado so hopefully we can retain the US Open Cup which now kind of brings us to, um, let's try to see if it'll let me do the Texas Derby, but it doesn't. So MLS. <clears throat> now, what you're seeing here doesn't include all the um, ICC, but that really, and let's go ahead and just bring back, we'll show all the competitions. Well, let's leave, leave it there for now. Obviously, in the last few league games, my form has slipped um, away to Nashville at a 2-2 draw. Um, then lost at Columbus 3-1, to one. drew at home against the Red Bulls, did get a nice win against Colorado, and a result at the Galaxy, which actually is good because that was my B team. But as you see, and we'll put all competitions, those matches were all in the midst of a lot of the other things that were going on. Um, that draw at Nashville was right before the Open Cup match that I was saving my first team for. So that was my second team in the draw at Nashville and the loss to Columbus, which was a really embarrassing loss. Um, Red Bulls also second team. So getting a point out of that wasn't terrible. Colorado, that win was my second team. And then the draw at the Galaxy was my second team, guys, as I was in between Super League matches. Um, and you know, so you know, nil-nil draw against the Galaxy was my at LA was my second team is is an acceptable result. So that brings us to today's match against FC Dallas, which look how full my competition screen is. <laughs> um, this is part of the Texas Derby, and the best way to look at Texas Derby this year, um, really in every season in in this save, is it's a two-legged affair. And right now, I'm up two-one with uh, on aggregate. Which means all I got to do is get a draw. So let's play. Uh, 
Um, this is, again, my second team <clears throat> playing against uh, Dallas. And they're trying to make the playoffs. So they are going to be into this. Typical speech stuff. Tactically, because it's my second team, I'm tempted to start a little more cautiously than I normally would. And so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, play over here, natural choice, and players are raring to go. So let's see how this goes. Dallas does have one of the players that's... You ever have a bogey player? It's this guy. <sighs> Uruti. I hate Uruti. As a matter of fact, I'm going to lower my back line. Just a wee bit. And... Let's also... Tight mark Uruti. Because I hate that pecker. <clears throat> Goal. All right, so we're up one nothing. Great start. Nice cross to Arnold, who is a rookie. Trying to retrain him at right wing, but he's really slow to it. So they're going to come at me now, probably. Yeah. See what happens here, and then I might think about lowering my mentality. Ooh, somebody did not pick up their man, so let's lower that a little bit. And they'll probably score before my changes take place. That happens to me all the time, as we saw in the Atlanta game. the um, Guild Allen shot caught it, so I also think I'm gonna re put it on retained possession let's try and hold the ball I, I can get away with giving up a goal and still win the competition here so retain possession a little bit hmm Gil 2-0. This is a great start for my second team. <laughs> Off of a free kick. Which is kind of a gill. It's a look what I found situation. I'm kind of surprised. I, Dallas is managed by Kinnear, who actually is the former Dynamo manager. But he has a more attacking formation than this. I would think that he would want to come at me a little bit because they need the result. They need the result for the Texas Derby and then also just for staying alive in the playoffs, which we'll look at here in a second. Ooh, are they going to score on a counter? Please no. Somebody pressure him. Okay, Allen. Let's ugh, just give it away immediately. That's one of the things I've noticed sometimes when you retain possession is that they just kind of wait for the other team to take the ball away. Head her over the bar. So they're starting to get some things put together. We need to think about what I'm doing here. He's way offside, but they didn't call it, so we'll take that. Okay, nice, nice tackle. Adela to Gill, back to George. Gill, you need to get over. Yeah, we may need. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, screw that. Try not to rush to make changes, but at some point, 
when things are not going your way at all, you've got to think about what to do. Uh, we're at halftime. Right now, we'll keep, keep things positive. We do have the lead. Well, probably at about the hour mark, I'm going to sub in my my sub my wingers off. They're the weakest part of this second team. I do have Minotas and and Elise on the bench, ready to go. How about the Delgado cross? Four cross. Got to have. Got to do better than that. So we seem to be back in control here. Oh, little Kaba, turn and finish that. <clears throat> All right, play it safe. Ooh. I tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my defensive midfielder back as a halfback, so he helps a little more with possession back there. To Delgado, <clears throat> Nardella, far post, low, shoot low, far post. Allen, Gill, Nardella. Got a drop. Use it. Yeah. Nardella, Cabo to Allen. Is that a corner? Oh, I guess not. Arnold the shot. Okay. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and bring in my wingers. Minotas on the left. At least on the right. See if we can't get another goal to sort of put this away. <sighs> really, if nothing else, just keep the ball a little better. And obviously, we're doing all right on that. Let me get the stats here. Yeah, I got 65% possession, so we're limiting their time with the ball at least. Man, I put you in so you could at least put those on target. Looking at the table. Yeah, see, Dallas is in seventh. They need a result here. They're three points back behind the Galaxy. So, oops, back to the field. It looks like they're putting something together here. All right, Thomas to George to Dardella. Nice ball to Delgado. And then he just dribbled it to the corner. I might need to take retained possession off. And that's not what we want. Definitely don't want a shot from 35 yards out. Gill is fatiguing. This is risky to make a sub with this much time left, but I'm going to give Torres a little game time here because I feel like we've got at least the draw I'll take that Note this Trubal Kaba yeah let's recirculate nice ball okay Minota drop it drop it there you go let's just hang on we don't need to uh, oh that was hey look what I found at least still can't get it on target Usually he plays in the middle. Right now I've got him out right. That could be part of the problem. Oh, Volcaba. Nice shot, but a good save. What can you say? Jonathan Bond made a good save. Guy's a good MLS goalkeeper. Okay, so it looks like we're going to escape. Ooh. Okay, now they're doing this. I hate this. All right, let's lower our mentality a little bit, see what happens. They're definitely coming at me. I'll tell you what I am going to do. Yeah, I didn't get a finish there. So I'm going to take work ball, play out of defense. But let's look for overlap. Because I feel like it's a narrow formation, and if my wingers can hold up for my backs, we'll create some chances there. 
<laughs> Gotta finish that. A great chance to put the game away. Torres wins the ball. Nice. I am going to also go ahead and bring my back line back to normal. Bring that closing down back up. And let's uh, make the tempo a little higher. <clears throat> Torres has been waiting for the ball right there. Oh, nice. Through ball there. Wakaba. Cross. At least can't finish it, George. And can't just get the ball tackled, especially when you've got a drop. Use it. Delgado. Cross release. Maltes. Ah, uh, this. All right, let's just kill this last minute. Okay, got a free kick. Waste some time. Get reorganized. Set back up. Oh, don't blow that tackle. Okay, Minotas with it, and that's it. All right. So we get all three points. We'll take that. That's obviously a great result. Um, always want to beat the rivals, right? Good win, boys. Well done. So now let's... Uh, Let's look ahead. Um, so we've got four matches in hand on San Jose. Um, Seattle is 14 back. So really, San Jose is the only the only real threat right now. So and you know what? Even if we just get a couple results out of those four, we're pretty well out in front. So it is going to allow me, as we mentioned the last time, to play younger guys um, we're looking ahead at the schedule we do have Seattle um, looking back have we already played San Jose both times and yeah, beat them 3-0 at home and 1-0 away so so we're pretty well set up for the league so we can focus on the Super League the Campionas Cup and the Open Cup so all right, uh, looking ahead, we'll just say, we'll, i tell you what we'll do. If we make it to the Super League of Final, we'll do a live com of that. You know, we may just do some live comms. We may just have an episode where we do just either some live comms or I com videos of the games because we got the Campiones Cup Final, the Super Liga, and the Open Cup. So uh, I'll go ahead and sign off, but we will see you next time.